in the morning. Your station for balanced news. And is there a problem that keeps you up at night? A fear that leaves you paralyzed? Well, if so, our next guest is here to help and to show you how to overcome your fear. Well, now more than ever, Americans are confronted daily with reasons to be afraid. If you think about it, with the recession, global warming, terrorism, child predators, superbugs, identity theft. Okay, I'm going to stop now. It can be tough to rise above it, but you can find your courage even in these tough times, and we are going to talk about ways to do that. Maggie Warrell is a certified professional life coach specializing in overcoming fears. Mm -hmm. And thank you for coming here this morning to talk about this. This was a really interesting segment to me because even before, while you were in the room, we were talking about things that just make the fears rise mm -hmm. in people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were just on the Today Show. Mm -hmm. And you wrote a book called uh, Find Your Courage, 12 Acts of Becoming Fearless in Work and Life. Now, you're an expert on courage, your personal story. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, I guess I have lots of incidents over my life that I've had to rise above my fear and be courageous. And I think it's really important to get that courage isn't the absence of fear or self-doubt. It's action in the presence of it. So I traveled around the world a lot, backpacking as a 21-year-old Australian, as so many do. I, you know, went through a robbery where I was, you know, had a gun at my head at one point. You know, I had a lot of miscarriages. Uh, you know, I've been in a lot of different situations where I felt pretty terrified. And really, it's about stepping through that fear and, you, and being courageous in who we are. You don't want that to, to overtake your life, those no, fears. No, exactly. And fear can overtake us. Fear breeds fear. And at the moment, you know, the last segment on terrorism and all the reasons why we should be afraid, constantly we're bombarded every day with reasons why we should be afraid and play safe and hunker down and avoid risk. And there are millions of people out there who have specific fears yeah. about certain things and Absolutely. panic disorders. Uh, the, the National Institute for Mental Health, there are 6 million Americans aged 18 to 54 who are, have a specific fear of something. So I think it's, it's not whether we have fear or don't have fear, it's how we respond to the fear. What do we do with the fear? Do we let that fear run our lives, determine our choices, keep us from speaking up and taking action, or, or do we hold the reins. You know what, everybody can identify with this, and so we're going to talk about certain points now, because, you know, you wonder how it infiltrates your life. I was in a, a very scary uh, plane ride one time that just made me so fearful of flying for years afterwards. Yeah. I mean, just the, you know, yeah. sweaty palms, you yeah. know, shaking hands, everything. So, um, it can really g affect your life. Yeah, and I see there's three kind of key areas, key ways that fear can undermine us. One is in the aspirations we have, what we dare to take on, the goals we choose to pursue. Often people settle for a lot less than what they really want, whether it's in their career or in their relationships. You know, they lower their sights and they do what they know they'll succeed at rather than saying, you know what, I'm going to take on something that, that involves a stretch. Secondly, in our, in our conversations, so often people don't speak up about the issues that weigh them down. They don't share how they really feel. They fail to ask for what they really want. And that really undermines their relationships and what they, what they achieve. And finally, in our actions, so often people don't step out and do the things that would allow them to be more successful and to achieve their potential. And then, you know, let's talk about being parents. You have mm -hmm. young children. I have young yeah. boys at home. And the way that society is today, you want to tell them things, to mm -hmm. be careful, to be aware, but you don't want to scare them too much. Yeah. And, and I think it's, to be mindful, we don't want to raise a generation of fearful children who are anxious and don't want to take risks and are scared of everything. So I think it's really important as parents, yeah, we want them to be safe and we want them to be prudent in their choices. But we also want to raise kids who are willing to take risks in life. And, you know, JFK once said, nothing great has ever been achieved with a guarantee of success. And so often we underestimate what we're capable of. So have to be a risk taker. Yeah, we need to take risks. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, anything worthwhile is going to involve an element of risk. It's going to call us to go outside our comfort zone and stretch us a bit. So, All right, very good points. And, and once again, just about the book, uh, Find Your Courage. It's a finalist in the USA Best Book Awards, and it's an Amazon bestseller. We'll have all the information linked to our website. Thanks Thank you so much. So much. I'm Thank going to go you. take some sort of a risk today. Oh, do that. Step <laughs> right. outside your comfort zone. Very down. nice to okay. meet you. Bye. All right, go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics for more information on that.